Bon dia, welcome to class. I'm everyone's favorite yoga teacher, Katsi, and today I'm going to give you a nice little flow to tune you into your body so that you are prepared to have the best day of your life. Let's go ahead and come to a comfortable seat, Siddhasana, giving one leg in front of the other. Feel your sits bones rooting down, the crown of the head lifting up, slight tuck of the chin towards the chest, and feel the low belly gently pulling in towards your spine. Invite a deep breath in, feeling this energy expand through the body. And as you exhale, feel a gentle letting go, letting go, letting go, letting go. And at the end of the exhale, feel your core pulling in, hugging in towards your spine. And breathing in deeply, for the wings of your heart, your lungs expanding front, back, side to side. And as you exhale, let it go, let it go for the unnecessary stress, leaving the body now, leaving the body now, and feel the core pulling in towards your spine. And on this next inhale, feel your hands reaching out to the side, this rays of light shining around you in all directions. And as you reach your arms up, gather in your intentions, your wishes, what inspired you to come to the practice today. Catch it. As you exhale, bring this energy down from above through the portal of the crown, passing by the mind's eye to support clear perception, by the lips to support clear expression and understanding, and into the heart to support that deep, rich, amazing connection to yourself. And may that connection be deeply restored and nourished in our time together. Breathe into your heart, feel your heart, the light of the heart expanding in all directions through your body. And exhale, arrive. Now we'll stay in a seated position, but go ahead, inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky. And as you exhale, bring your left arm forward, your right arm back behind you. Left hand comes on top of your right thigh. Right hand behind the back to support you. Inhale, feeling the crown of the head lifting up towards the sky. And as you exhale, deep in your twist. Breathing in, growing tall and long. Exhale, twisting deeper. Breathing in, growing tall and long. Exhale, twisting deeper. Inhale, reach your arms up. Or just reach your right arm up, actually. Let's take a little side stretch. Opening up through the right side body. Let the head be heavy. Relax the stress from the neck. Breathing in, opening up the right side waist. And exhale, softening more towards the left. Breathing in. And exhale, reach the right hand over towards the left thigh. Make an X with your arms and center yourself over this cross in the elbows. Breathing in, feel the shoulder blades expanding from side to side. And as you exhale, drop your head down, relaxing the back of the neck. And breathing into the back of the heart. And exhale out. From here, sit back into your sits bones, lift up your arms, you have this X, and then bring the palms together for God or Dasana, eagle wrap in your arms. If this is too much, you can always hug yourself, that's always super nice, right? From here, eagle arms, inhale, drive the elbows forward, up and back, create extension in your spine. And as you exhale, curl in, elbows sneak into the belly button. Breathing and lifting up, elbows reach forward, up and back, open up through your heart. And as you exhale, curl into yourself, belly button pulls in. Breathing and lifting up. And exhale, curling in. Inhale, reach your arms up, pull your arms, reach around like wings, reaching up towards the sky. And as you exhale, bring your right arm forward, left arm back behind you for your twist. Left hand supports you so the spine is long. And as you inhale, feel the crown of the head lifting up towards the sky. And with your exhale, twist a bit deeper. Ooh, snap, crackle, pop. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, twisting deeper. Breathing and lifting. And exhale, twisting a bit deeper. 
Keep your right hand where it is. Inhale, stretch out through the left fingertips, reaching up and over your head. Take a side bend towards the right. And then feel the left side of your body opening up, your ribs spreading apart like gills of a fish. And as you exhale, soften a bit more towards the right. Breathing and opening up left side waist. Then exhale, soften a bit more. Breathing in. And exhale. Hmm. Now let the left hand come down towards the right thigh, making an X with your arms. And then center your torso right over this cross of the elbows. Let your head be heavy. Neck is relaxed. Ponytail a little bit wild. And breathe into the back of your heart. Feel your shoulder blades spreading apart. And exhale, drop the head down. Breathing in, opening up the space between the shoulder blades. And exhale, soften. Sit back into your sits bones and roll up. Da 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 da. Elbows connect, palms press, God or Dasana Eagle wrap in your arms. As you inhale, feel your elbows pull forward, up and back. Open your heart up towards the vastness of the sky. And as you exhale, curl and elbows sneak into the belly button. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, curling in. Inhale, lifting up, opening up through your heart. And exhale, curling in. Inhale, reach your arms out. Stretch up. Welcome in this beautiful moment. And exhale, bring the energy down through the crown, through the third eye, lips into your heart. Let's go ahead and come forward onto our hands and knees. I'll go this way. Spread through your fingers wide, knees right underneath the shoulders. As you inhale, drop the belly down, re-inviting this space into the heart as it pulls between the biceps. And as you exhale, press curl and round your spine like a cat. Inhale, dropping down for cow. Exhale, curl and round. Inhale, pull it forward. Exhale, curl and round. Good. Now just take a few moments here to make some circles and figure eights with the body. Feel into this body of water. That is you inviting some fluidity as you just smooth out the edges. This will help you refine your intuition as you tune into the subtle sensations of the body and you allow them to guide you. Your body is always speaking to you, always giving you information to help you understand and deeply connect to yourself. Good. And the next time you find your seat reaching back towards the heels, let's go ahead, tuck underneath the toes and elongate the legs, hips up high, Adamuka, downward facing dog. Spread through your fingers wide, index finger, second finger, Jupiter finger. <laughs> this finger has so many names, is parallel. That's what I wanted to say. Your feet are parallel as well. Let your head drop, relax through the neck. Take a deep breath in, feel the ribs expand. And exhale everything out completely. Breathing in. And exhale out. Now inhale, rise to the balls of the feet. Curl your spine like a cat. Imagine you're pulling forward like an ocean wave, like the beautiful ocean waves behind me. Come into a high plank. Now let your knees hover off the mat and then swish your hips up and back into Adha Mukha, downward facing dog. Again, inhale, ride it forward. Let your breath wash you forward into high plank. Exhale, knees hover, swish it up and back. Adha Mukha, downward facing dog. And then inhale, coming forward, high plank. Exhale, lower down your knees, your chest, your chin. So your seat is going to stay high. You're going to bend your elbows straight back. Chest and chin meet the mat for Ashtanga Namaskar. From here, inhale, slither forward onto the belly. Zip your inner thighs together like a mermaid tail, then roll the shoulders back. Breathe into your heart, Bhujangasana. As you exhale, lead with the heart, pulling forward, 
and down. Now let's crawl the fingertips out to the side so you have little gecko hands, elbows pointing straight up. And as you inhale, lightly press into the ground as you peel your spine off the mat, lifting up through your heart for a higher cobra. With your exhale, dip your left shoulder down, gaze over to the right. Inhale, come right back up through center. As you exhale, right shoulder dips down. Breathing in, come right back up through center. Exhale, left shoulder dips. Inhale, come right back up through center. Exhale, right shoulder dips down. Breathing in, lift right back up, open up through your heart. Exhale, lead forward and down. Slide your hands right by your chest, squeeze your elbows in, tuck underneath your toes, light up through your thighs so that your kneecaps lift off from the mat. Your chin is tucked slightly towards the chest. Take a deep breath in, light up the space in the entirety of your body. And as you exhale, press the ground away, come into your high plank. You can always keep the knees down if you like. Hips up high, Adha Mukha, downward facing dog. Let's go ahead now, inhale, lift your right leg up, reach for the balls of the feet. Keep the shoulders square, let the head drop. From here you can bend your right knee and just take little circles. And remember, this practice does not have to reflect mine. This is about you receiving my guidance and tuning into how it resonates with you in this moment. What does your body need? And after you feel into the space of the right hip for a bit, you can inhale, lift up through the right leg, reach the ball of the foot. As you exhale, for a little bit of core activation, bring the right knee to the top of the right tricep as your foot steps lightly outside of the fingertips. Good, you're in a low, wide lunge, also a high lizard. And you're just gonna rock it back and forth here. Mmm, what you say? Now, let the hips soften down a little bit, and then inhale, pull the heart forward between the biceps. You can gaze up. With your exhale, tuck underneath the back toes, lengthen through your legs. Maybe even flex through your right foot, drop the head down for a long pyramid pose. We're going to repeat that a few times. So as you inhale, bend your right knee, let the hips soften, open up through your heart. Exhale, straight and lengthen fold. Inhale, re-bend your right knee, let the hips melt down, open through heart. Exhale, straight and lengthen fold. Vundaba. Inhale, bend your right knee, drop down to the tip of your back thigh bone. You can always take a blanket underneath the back thigh if you need a little bit of support. Now from here, left hand down, reach your right arm forward, and with your inhale, you're going to stretch it, reach it forward, up, 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 and back. Now you can stay here in this open twist, otherwise you can also take a strap in your right hand, but you're going to bend your back knee Reach a hold of the foot, okay, for a quad stretch. Now you can allow it to be a bit static here and breathe in to where you feel sensation. So you breathe in to the hip flexor, to the quad. They're waking up. They're excited to be alive. And as you exhale, you feel a softening. Now if you want it to be a little bit more fluid and flowy, you can inhale, kick the foot back and feel this opening up in your heart. And as you exhale, gently squeeze the heel in to receive a little bit more release in the quad. Inhale, kick it back, open through heart. Exhale, squeeze it in. Inhale, kicking back, opening up. Exhale, squeezing in, pulling in. One more time. Inhale, kick it back, open up. Amazing. Exhale, squeeze it, pull it in. Good. Now go ahead, release the back foot, tuck underneath the back toe, hug your right knee in, make sure your right toes are pointing forward. Lift up your back knee, back thigh bone, and then reach your right arm up towards the sky, take a twist, breathing in. Exhale, open up a little bit more. Good. Now reach your right arm forward, over the head and down. Flex through your right foot, turn the toes over towards the left, take a wide-legged forward fold. As you inhale, finding length, looking forward, turn your toes out, your heels in, so you're in a wide second position. As you exhale, bend your left knee, flex through your right foot, 
coming into Skandasana. And then inhale, lift up through your hips. Exhale, bend your right knee, flex your left foot. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, bend the left knee, flex through right. Just waking up our body. Go as low as what feels good. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, bend your right knee, flex through left. Good. And we're going to travel around our mat. So go ahead, inhale, lift up, right back up through center. Look forward, flat back. As you exhale, crawl your hands over towards the left. Turn your left toes to face the back of the mat, framing the left foot, tuck underneath the back toes. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Three-legged dog. Bend your left knee. Open up through the hip. Let the head be heavy. Explore it. Create space. Lengthen through the left leg nice and long. Exhale, left knee taps into the top of the left tricep. Squeeze in. Left foot steps wide. Back toes tucked. You can come onto the fingertips or feel free to use blocks. And go ahead, just simply rock it back and forth. Hmm. Simple. Keep it simple. Breathe deep. Mm. That's. Now, go ahead, drop down to the tip of the back thigh bone. So you allow gravity to hug your hips towards the ground. And as you inhale, feel the heart pulling forward, opening up. And as you exhale, straighten, lengthen, fold, maybe even flex through your left foot. Drop the head down. Inhale, bend your left knee, hips melt, heart opens. Exhale, straighten, lengthen, fold. Inhale, bend your left knee, hips melt, heart opens. Exhale, straighten, lengthen, fold. Mmm, delicious. Inhale, re-bend your left knee. Drop down to the tip of the back thigh bone. Right hand down. Let the hips melt. Reach your left arm forward. Inhale, stretch it up. Paint a rainbow over your head. Reach it back. Stay here. Otherwise, bend your back knee. Squeeze the heel in towards the seat. And receive it. This nice, deep release from the hip flexor and quad. Breathe in to where you feel sensation. So you're able to open it up. And exhale out. Now inhale, kick the foot back into the hand if you wish to invite some flowy movement. And exhale, squeeze it in. Inhale, kick back open. Exhale, squeeze, pull it in. Inhale, kick back open. Exhale, squeeze, pull it in. Inhale, kick back open up. Mm. Exhale, squeeze, gently pull it in. Without slingshotting the back foot, just simply release it. Duck underneath the back toes. Back thigh lifts, left toes turn forward. Lift up, lunge. Reach your left arm up. Take a twist. Breathing in. And exhale out. Breathe in here. And out. Circle the left arm overhead. Lengthen through the left leg, flex through the left foot, turn it around, back towards the right, wide-legged forward fold. Toes turn in, heels out, inhale, finding length, look forward. And exhale, drop the head down. From here, you can interlace the hands behind the back, drive the fist up and overhead. Create little circles, little figure eights here with the fist. Loosen up with the heart. Take a deep breath in, and exhale out completely. Squeeze your inner thighs together and imagine someone picking you up by your fist, rolling up through your spine, softness in the knees. Come up to stand nice and tall, hands towards the low back. Good. Once the hands are at the low back, you can release. Take the shoulders up and down, inhaling up, exhaling down. Inhaling, open up. Exhale down, invites movement into the arms. Inhale up. And exhale down. <coughs> Great. From here, we're going to work into Uddiyana Bandha. This is a navel lock. 
This is super great first thing in the morning um, if you haven't ate anything because um, it helps to stimulate your digestive system and to pull that energy up and in. If you're pregnant, please <laughs> resist the temptation to do this, but you can join us in the horse stance or the goddess squat. So essentially what you're going to do is the toes are going to turn out, the heels are going to turn in, and then we exhale, bend our knees, come into goddess squat. Yeah. You can turn your fingertips out towards the knees, thumbs towards the front of the inner thighs. Go ahead, just take a deep breath in here, and exhale, sit a little bit lower. Breathing in, and exhale out. Now you're more than welcome to can you continue deep breathing here. You can also try to remove your hands and just allow the tailbone to drop, and then feel this activation in the thighs. Those of you working Uddiyana Bandha, what you're going to do is you're going to exhale all the air out. You're going to pull the navel in. You're going to round your spine a little bit like a cat. So it looks something like this. I know I have on a bodysuit underneath, but just use your imagination and perhaps you can see a little bit of the pulling in. <laughs> Look, I can stuff my bodysuit. <laughs> Stuffing a bra. Oh my God, what am I, 13? All righty. Go to connect to your inner child. All right, focus. Here we go. I take a deep breath in. I exhale everything out completely. <sighs> Navel pulls in. I let my belly soften before I take an inhale in. That's super, super important because you don't want to be <gasps> gasping for air, okay? We're not gasping. We are full of life. We are abundant in life. Remember that. So again, you exhale everything out, pull the navel up and in, hold it for as long as you can, then let the belly soften and then take a deep breath in. Light up your body with breath. Yeah? If you get a little bit dizzy, just make sure you feel your feet on the ground. Let's give it a try. Got a squat. Take a deep breath in. Exhale everything out completely. Pull the navel up and in towards your spine, hollow out. Let your belly soften. Take a deep breath in. And exhale out everything completely. Again, breathing in deeply. And exhale out. Power into the feet, power in the thighs. Inhale, rise up, come to stand. Bring your right toes forward, step your left foot forward towards the top of the mat. Big toes touching, heels slightly apart. Unstuff your bra. Bring your hands into your heart for Tadasana Mountain Pose. Remind yourself as to why you came here today. Breathe deeply into your heart, feel the wings of your heart, your lungs expanding. Give yourself life. Give yourself the opportunity to feel free. And exhale out. Now we warm up the body, breath for movement. Hook through the thumbs. Inhale, reaching forward, up and back, open through the heart. Hasta Uttanasana. As you exhale, prayers down to the earth. Melt down, fold, Uttanasana, forward fold. As you breathe in, finding length, look forward. Exhale, step your left foot towards the back. Left hand down, inhale, circle, reach your right arm up towards the sky. Exhale, reach it forward and down. Slide your right foot straight back, high plank. As you exhale, connect it, knees, chest, and chin. Ashtanga Namaskar. Inhale, slither forward onto your belly, roll the shoulders back, breathe into your heart. Exhale, seat back to heels, hips up high, Adha Mukha, downward facing dog. Inhale, coming forward again, high plank position, nice and strong. Feel free to lower your knees if you like. Otherwise, exhale, bend your elbows straight back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Tops of the feet to the mat, breathe into your heart, Ardha Mukha. And exhale, Adha Mukha, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up high towards the sky. Exhale, right knee pulls into the nose, footsteps right between your hands. Gently drop down to the tip of the back thigh bone and breathe in, guide your heart forward. Exhale, step your left foot up to meet your right. Breathing in, finding length, look forward, Ardha Uttanasana. 
Exhale, drop down, fold. Inhale, reaching up high towards the sky, gathering the light. Exhale, bring your hands back to your heart. Inhale, hook the thumbs, reaching forward, up and back. Exhale, melt down, fold. Breathing in, finding length, looking forward. Exhale, step the right foot all the way back. Right hand down, inhale, circle, reach your left arm up towards the sky. Exhale, left hand down, slide your left foot straight back, high plank. Exhale, connect it, knees, chest, and chin. Inhale, slither forward, Bhujangasana, cobra pose. Exhale, seat back to heels. Hips up high, Adho Mukha, downward facing dog. Inhale, coming forward again, high plank. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Breathe into your heart. Exhale, Adho Mukha, downward facing dog. Lift your left leg up, breathing in, three-legged. Exhale, left knee pulls into the nose, foot steps between your hands. Back thigh bone lowers down, breathe into your heart. Exhale, step your right foot up to meet your left. Breathing in, finding length, looking forward. Exhale, drop down into your step. Inhale, rise, reach your arms up, high towards the sky. And exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Take a deep breath in. And exhale out. Breathe and reach the arms skyward. Exhale, step your left foot all the way towards the back. Right toes stay pointing forward, left toes turn in slightly. Exhale, tee out your arms. Breathe into your heart. Feel this energy expanding out, fingertip to fingertip, become dynamic. As you exhale, reach forward as far as you can, then tip it down. Trikonasana, triangle pose. Slide up through the thighs. Breathe into the left ribs. Spiral up towards the ceiling. Reach the left hand up. Now from here, if it bothers your neck to look up, don't do it. <laughs> don't do the things that stress you out. You can let the head be heavy. Relax the right ear towards the right shoulder. Open up to the left side of the neck. Breathing in. Feel into your expansion within this pose. And exhale for the core knitting in. Breathing in. Exhale out. Breathe in. Exhale out. Look down at the right toes. Breathe in. Exhale. Press down to the feet. Come back to how you started. Now we're just going to switch it. Turn your right toes in. Left toes point towards the back. Breathe into this expansive state of being. Imagine you're like a star, shining bright. As you exhale, reach forward as far as you can, then tip it down for Trikonasana Triangle Pose. Breathing into full expansion. And exhale, feel the core pulling in. Breathing into full expansion. And exhale, core pulls in. Breathing in. Imagine what it feels like to live this expansive, vibrant life. Exhale, feel this energy pulling into you towards the core of your being. Breathing in. And exhale out. Look down at the floor. Breathing in. Exhale, press down. Lift up, come to stand. Inhale, reach your arms up, turn the toes in. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, reach your arms right back up high towards the sky. And exhale, hop your feet in <sighs> together. Tadasana. Good. From here, inhale, rise to the balls of the feet. Lift up your heels. Squeeze knees and thighs together. Bend your knees. Drop the tailbone down for the navel pull in. Sliding down the wall. Go ahead, take a seat here. From here, send your left leg forward. Hug your right knee on top. If both sits bones are down, you can try bending the left knee in. So both sits bones are rooted. If you notice your right sits bones lifting up here, go ahead and extend your left leg back forward. I'm here to bring your right hand behind us. Inhale, reach your left arm up. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. 
Ardha Matsyantrasana. Spinal twist. Breathing in. Spine is long, kind of the head lifting up. Exhale, twist a bit deeper. Breathe in. Exhale out. Take a deep breath in. Exhale out. Breathe in deeply. Exhale out. Inhale, reach your arms up high towards the sky. Exhale, hands over towards the left, little counter twist. From here, you're going to shift the weight up. Lift up your hips, rock around yourself. Boom. Magic. <laughs> left leg is on top. You're ready for seated spinal twist on the other side. Now, hug your left knee in. Once again, if both sits bones aren't down, just simply extend your right leg forward. Here we go. Left hand behind you. Inhale, reach your right arm up. Exhale, take a twist. Breathing in, growing tall and long. Exhale, twisting deeper. Breathing in, growing tall and long. Exhale, twisting a bit more. Breathing in. Exhale out. Come right back to center. Take a counter twist. From here, you're going to unwrap your legs, spin over onto your belly. <clears throat> Fingertips by the shoulders. Roll the shoulders back, breathe into your heart. Bhujangasana. Exhale, pull the heart forward and down. From here, zip the legs together. You can bring your hands by your side. We're working to Shalambhasana Locust Pose. If you like, you can interlace your hands behind your back. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, pull the fist back, roll the shoulders back, fold up through the legs, Shalambhasana. Be sure to not crank your head, don't need to look up. Chin slightly towards the chest. Breathing in and out. Breathing in. Exhale out. Breathing in. And exhale out. Release, relax. You can wag, wag. <laughs> you can sway your hips from side to side. And if you want to go deeper, you can bend your knees for Dhanurasana bow pose. Otherwise, stick with the same. Let's go. Go ahead, bend your knees, reach back for the ankles, thumbs pointing down, pinkies turning up. Take a deep breath in. Fill up the entirety of space that is your body. And as you exhale, kick back, lift up, Dhanurasana bow pose. Breathe in here. Exhale out. Kick back, lift up, breathing in. And out. Breathe in. Exhale, release, lower down. Make a pillow with your hands. Bring the forehead down. Sway your hips from side to side. Breathe into low back, mid back, upper back. And exhale, relax completely. Breathing in deep. And all is else. From here, bring your hands back by the shoulders, knees down, send your seat back towards your heels. Balasana. Inhale, coming back forward to a tabletop position. Let's go ahead, find ourselves once again in a meditative seat. You're more than welcome to take this time to lie down or do anything else that you feel would complement your practice today as you feel into your body, tune into what your body needs in this moment. Um, but as this is just a little yoga quickie, I invite you just to come to a nice easy seat and we'll close our practice with a bit of gratitude so that we continue to raise our frequency. You can even bring your hands into Yan Mudra, index and thumb connect. This is the Mudra of intelligence. 
Relax it down on top of your thighs. Tailbone rooting down, low belly pulling in, core contracted, heart open, shoulders soften, neck is long, you feel the chin tucking slightly towards your chest as the crown of the head reaches up high towards the sky. You invite a deep, beautiful breath into your body. Feel into the space that you've opened up in this short bit of time by coming to your mat. And as you exhale, feel a gentle release, a letting go, a softening, and again arriving back into this easy seat. And as you take a few breath cycles, you start to reflect on your little journey with yourself this morning. And you notice the shifts, the changes that have happened in this time. And you become mesmerized by what happens when you take the time to apply your awareness with intention, with your energy, that is your breath that is moving through you now. And you become mesmerized and aware of the magic that you can create. What a gift it is to have this practice. And as you breathe in, you can hear yourself saying, I am grateful for. And as you exhale, acknowledge what it is. Feel it seeping into the cells of your being. It can be as simple as, I am grateful for my breath. I am grateful for this practice that allows me to tune into myself. I am grateful for the ability to shift, to expand, to create, to be able to let go of all that doesn't serve me. Make it yours. You can return to this practice at any moment, any time in the day. It's guided by your breath. You can do it while you walk, while you eat, while you wait for the train. You always have the ability to raise your frequency, to tune into yourself. From here, let's inhale, reach our arms up high towards the sky. Gather in this abundance of all that you are grateful for. Maybe your arms may feel heavy. Oh my God, we gathered in so much. Amazing. Catch it between the palms of your hands. As you exhale, slide it down the midline. Pull it through the portal of your crown, but this time let it pause at the third eye. Breathe in. Hold your breath there at the top. In gratitude of all that we have received, may it continue to illuminate the light and how we perceive Exhale out, slide your hands down to the lips. Breathing in, hold your breath there at the top. In gratitude of all that we have received, may it continue to support us as we express from our truth and understand the divine clearly. Exhale out, hands come down into your heart. Breathe into your heart, for the wings of your heart, your lungs expanding big and bright, 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 bright. Hold your breath there at the top. In gratitude of all that we have received, may it continue to support us as we live on in peace, love, bliss, unity, trust, and harmony. Exhale, sending all that you have received back to the earth. So it creates a solid, supportive foundation so that we can all rise and thrive. There is room for all of us to rise and thrive. Breathe in deeply. And exhale out. Thank you so much for joining me, for tuning in to yourself. May all that you have received continue to support you as you ride this magical, mystical wave of life. Enjoy 
comment, subscribe, let me know what feels good, what you would like to see more of, as I'm happy to continue to foster this beautiful connection with you. Namaste.